Kara's here all the time. <laughs> kind of a oh. back in the past with Liz and oh, Molly. Molly, go way back, way back. I Molly Anderson it. is here. She's a successful interior designer, lifestylist, best selling author. Yeah, her latest book, I'm holding it right now Change Your Home, Change Your Life with Color. What is your color story? It's a uh, New York Times bestseller. She's here to talk about the power. <laughs> Congrats on that. The power of color uh, you. in your home and uh, here to give us some tips on where to start. Color. Yes. yes. Color. How do you put color into your home, into your life? <laughs> Well, it's actually not as difficult as it sounds, but you know, people are afraid of color. Mm -hmm. So I always love getting to sit down and talk to people like yourselves mm -hmm. and having you understand that you have a color story. Did you know that? I do, because I, I know what mine is. What is yours? Blue. Blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so interesting. But you know what makes blue a bad color for somebody else? Hmm. If they had a traumatic experience around blue when they were a child. Wow. Oh. And I yeah, actually came sense. upon all of this because I had fallen out of love with color as a small child due to some trauma that I had. So, and I didn't realize I was avoiding color my entire life. And wow. I built a whole career on dark, seductive interiors. Isn't that crazy? Yes, but yes. this is really fun. So, how do you start if you're going to put color into a room? Small. Start small. Yes. Start yeah. small, paint a wall, right? Mm. You don't have to be extreme. Mm -hmm. Like this is a great example of showing using paint and using wallpaper as well. And just having a touch of it. It goes a long way. You know, you no, can make blue. a statement, which is great, right? Mm -hmm. And you love blue, mm -hmm. several blues. But the most important thing is that you are drawn to the color, that mm -hmm. it makes you feel happy. No one can tell you what color you need. Only you know what that is. And it doesn't matter which no, color. No, because we look at color, I don't know if you knew this, but we, we have a full sensory experience that happens. Mm -hmm. So all of all of our memories are tied to those colors. Oh, that's why. Yes. Right. But can you be too matchy-matchy? Because in the exterior of my home, there's turquoise. Right. Okay. So I'm just wondering if it would be too much to bring that turquoise inside the house too. No, but you know, I always like to have people, you know, to think about just popping color in, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look, oh, here's another door. Oh, look at this door. I the love red, red door mm -hmm. is such a, you know, feng shui mm -hmm. loves red mm -hmm. doors because it brings power and protection to you. But if you have an aversion to red, then it's not for you. That's a wild. So, if yeah. you can wear it, if you wear it, if you like to wear it and you feel great in it, right. then you're saying go with that color. I'm saying go with if that color. If you're looking for a color. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, you've got this My fabulous red. red dress on. Yeah. Now, you may not want a whole room of red. But you might want a red chair, a fabulous red okay. chair, or maybe a red throw over a beautiful, simple gray chair. So I want people to start thinking about infusing color into their lives. So it's pretty simple, it's not yes, as hard. Absolutely. Um, another way to put it in. Ah. Well, this is oh, also another way to wear it. Makeup. So for instance, mm -hmm. red lipstick. If you weren't able to wear the red and, and you felt like you wanted to bring red into your life, then infuse it in a small way. Find that perfect red for you and wear it on your lips until you get to be comfortable with it. Or also the classic carry, which is black, which is a power color. So black is a very wonderful color. And see, oh, look I'll at, take that. Did you know the majority of people who drive a black car are driving their way to the Driving their way to the top, it's a powerful color. We both have so black, black cars. See, I saw you drive into it. Well, you're right on point. You're right on point. Isn't so, it? so there's no color you should avoid then. You should not. You avoid should that. only avoid colors that don't make you feel good. Okay. Like for instance, if you go to somebody's house and all of a sudden you're in a room, like say for instance you walked in this room and all of a sudden you said, I don't know why I feel uncomfortable. Maybe mm. it's all the shiny stuff. Maybe it's the the use of black in that painting. Whatever it is, you need to get in touch with that so you can avoid it in your home. Interesting. But this is a great way to show how to use art. Mm -hmm. Art is a great way to bring a statement into your space. There's a good piece of art. Right? Oh, I love Isn't that, that fun? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then you put the little bit of pink out to the flowers. Exactly. The yellow. Here's, mm -hmm. a, here's a wonderful statement using very bold art. That's and, colorful. Again, choosing the colors out of the painting. I love to start with a painting. Well, what's yeah. a right painting? You know, everyone says, what's good art? What do you pick? Again, this is so simple. I'm, I'm trying to empower you to understand that you are your own color expert. You have to be drawn to that piece of art. My husband and I have a rule that we both have to love this piece of art that's hanging in our house. And if not, then we have a, at least a good hour to talk the other one into it. Right, so it you just know? doesn't but matter. As it, long as you yeah. like it, it exactly. works. Yes. But what yes. it, I love all kinds of art. Can you get well, too wonderful. much, though? I mean, you have abstract in one room, and in another room you have, like, nature. No, you know? I think it's about creating a journey in your home. So if you love it and you want to have some outdoor art and live with it, like for instance, I look at this, this green. green. You know, green is the Pantone color this year. And this is a great way to show you how you infuse a color. Look at how simple this is. I went with classic blue and then we just popped the color with the yellow and the, the throw. You know Something what I love about this that. picture? The roses. The roses the are beautiful, aren't roses they? And that's a really brilliant yellow. 
And look at this red sateen. That chandelier. Isn't come that fabulous? On. Yes, but this chandelier I know, it's costs really thousands wonderful. and thousands. I mean, yes, but here, let's be real about it. I want how people it. to really understand it doesn't cost a lot of money. When I could not afford art and I was a single mom, I bought big canvases that were seconds and I would throw color on it that made my heart happy. And I would create my own art. Or you can use That's a lithograph fun. or right. you can find a neat poster and frame it. Something as simple as this flowers are so important. Flower power your way to a beautiful bouquet. Do not wait for anyone to buy you flowers. Never. <laughs> Never. I buy myself flowers all the time and pick them as well and take pictures of them for my Instagram. I always have. So this fun. is actually my kitchen in Dallas. I always have fresh flowers, fresh fruit in bowls. Think about infusing color that way too. Okay. Look at here, just a simple way to bring color. The, the roses are matching the stool and then the books have that touch of orange in there. Oh, it's thank really you. easy. So yes. start small, yes. maybe a, 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 a vase of yellow yes. fruits. All right, change your home. <laughs> Get a uh, lemon tree change in the back. Your exactly. Your color. Yeah, what's your color orange, story? Orange that book tree. is out now. Mo, very nice. We'll right it's intimidating, back. so it's good. Still to come. And a